Hello, everybody. Welcome to Walk About Europe, the football manager journey, man, where we can only move between clubs in the game when we've walked and exercised that equivalent distance in real life. We're up to episode one. The journey begins. In a short while, we'll pick our first club. And thank you to everybody who made comments and suggestions about which club to pick. I read through them all, and I really enjoyed reading everybody's ideas. I'll also kind of touch briefly on house rules for the save. I'll share the exercise tracker, and then we're going to jump right in and play our first match. The journey starts today. Hope you'll stick around. It should be a fun episode. So here we are. The adventure begins. It's so exciting. It's like one of the most exciting times in Football Manager. It's like opening up a birthday present or something. Like nothing's broken yet. It works fine. You're so excited to just see what it is and stuff. Let's dig in and eliminate some of our teams. We had five clubs left over at the end of episode zero. Two in Czech Republic, two in Slovenia, and one Svati Jur in Slovakia. Now, I have to admit, I was not leaning towards the 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 Slovakian club, because I was concerned that the promotion was broken in the database. But Alan Butterworth made a comment that led me down a path that led me to be able to confirm that it actually is working in League 3 in the Slovakian League. So that brought Svati Jura back into the picture. But let's take a look at the Slovenian clubs. We had Zrece and Smarje. The thing I was concerned about with Smarje was that it's going to be embroiled in a relegation battle, and I don't think I want that in the first season because I'm a little concerned if we lose our job too quickly, we won't be able to find another job very quickly getting out there, especially with no credentials. So that went Smarje by the wayside. Then I took a look at the two clubs in the Czech Republic. They were Benisov and Rosic, and a lot of people mentioned that they really liked the location of Rosic, in the comments, and I agree. Benisov is a little bit too far north, with good access to Germany and Poland, but a long walk just about anywhere else. So I thought we're probably going to be able to, we're probably not going to be able to get into Germany or Poland with our second job because the lowest clubs in that nation are pretty high. So that made me think Rosic is definitely the better option in the Czech Republic. So there went Benisov. That left us with Rosic, Zrici and Svati Jur. Now, Zrici down in Slovenia is one of those kind of goofy FM leagues where they play a ton of games early in the season, and then later in the season, the schedule just has them playing like one or two games a month. So I was a little bit concerned that everything was going to happen so fast when we came in there that we really might not be able to have a big impact on the team before a large part of it had already been determined. So with that, I threw out Zrici and the Slovenian leagues. That left us with Rosic and Svati Jura. Svati Jura, such a cool name and a cool badge. It actually means St. George in Czech. Who knew? Really excited about both of them. I really was having a tough time deciding, but then I read a comment by F.M. Lama. Now, F.M. Lama is a master of taking on the challenges of relegation by choice. No challenge is too big for F.M. Lama. And he made a pretty good comment, I thought, about Svati Jur, in that most, a lot of their players were being wanted and potentially could be poached by other teams in the league. And I thought that might be a little bit too much of a risky revolving door for us. So with that, I tossed out Svati Jur and that left us with Rosic. Now, they do have a very cool location. Let's take a look on the map see here. Here is a 320 kilometer, 200 mile circle drawn around their city. And you can see we've got really good access to Slovakia, good access to Austria, and good access to Budapest and a good chunk of Hungary. So it looks like we'd have a lot of good options to get out of there in a reasonable amount of time. Not only that, if we get lucky, we might even be able to get up into the southwestern part of Poland if we so were so inclined. So with that in mind, it is time to go into the inbox here is their job offer, 600 pounds per week, which I think is going to go a long way in the Czech Republic. 2,000 pounds per week of a wage budget, no transfer budget, and they're expecting a mid-table finish. Let's start these negotiations. They're willing to pay us 600 pounds per week, but let's see if we can bump them up here a little bit. And they want percentage of club compensation that we'd have to pay. Let's see if we can get that down to 80%. Let's suggest these terms. There's no way they're going to take them. But let's see if we can just edge another 25 pounds out. Yes! 625 pounds per week. We have our job in Rosic, the Czech Republic. Let's exit talks. Let's see if we get that nice little, there it is, the banner that comes in. Rosic today have confirmed the appointment of Zilla Blitz as the club's new manager. The journey begins. Now I'm going to dig in and take a look at the team, mess around with it a little bit, and then we're going to come back and start our first match. But before we do that, I want to share just a little bit on the house rules that I'll be using for the save. And I have an, uh, an, uh, an exercise tracker that I want to share with people as well. So we will be right back. 
So before we jump in and take a look at the club, I wanted to take a minute and talk a little bit about my house rules. These are the rules I want to use to keep the game challenging and fun. First up, and, no, and these are in no particular order, no downloadable tactics. So I'm not going to go out somewhere and download a power tactic, install it, tweak it a little bit, and then run through the league with some killer tactic that takes advantage of something that I know nothing about. I'm going to make my own tactics. I love to get advice. And if you see things as matches are going on and have tips and stuff like that, those, however, are very, very welcome. I do want to improve at tactics. That's probably the weakest area of the game that I've got right now, I think. Next up, I'm not going to, likewise, I'm not going to search the internet for information on hidden wonder kids that I wouldn't be, have knowledge about in the game itself. If I bump into someone by chance, that's awesome, but I'm not going to go out and look for articles that are going to allow us to kind of say, search for this guy, bring him into your club, and yay, now we're 21 and 2 or something like that. I'm not interested in that. Likewise, with that, it kind of goes without saying, but I'm not going to be doing any saves coming or do anything like that would give us kind of a repeatable action within the game. Uh, I'm not out to prove to anybody how good I am at the game. I'm not, I, there are thousands of people that are better than me at the game. Let's put it that way. This is about the fun of the adventure. If we get relegated three years in a row, pff, whatever, and I end up working in McDonald's in Budapest, cool. That's where we'll be. So uh, no saves coming for me. I'm also not going to take care, take advantage of any things that are obvious unrealistic advantages within the game. And by these, I mean like scheduling a preseason tournament against teams that are in the top of the league. I've seen saves where people do that and they all of a sudden they've got two million pounds in the bank and you're like, well, yeah, if you got two million pounds and all the other clubs in the league don't have that much, you just made it super easy for yourself. And that's fine if people want to play that way. I'm just not, not really interested in doing something that's going to make it a lot easier. Likewise, making it a lot easier is because attribute masking is on. So that means I have no idea what the player values are. That's by far, I think, is the, the largest difficulty toggle in the game. And I just really like to play without knowing what the attributes are. So we have to scout, bring people in on trials and all the struggles of trying to figure out whether someone actually is any good or not. Lastly, um, I do have the database editor turned on. Um, I don't have the in-game editor purchased yet, and I won't be using it unless it's something, unless it's to fix something that would have broken the game, especially with some of the custom databases. I'm wondering if there might be cause at some point to have that happen, but I'm not going to go in and like change a player's rating or do anything to gain advantage through doing that. It would be just to fix something that is broken. And I actually haven't even bought it yet. I haven't bought it yet. So I think that's about it that I wanted to say. If there's others that I've forgotten or you have questions about them, let me know. But that's our house rules. So let's drive on and take a look at the exercise tracker. So I wanted to share, I mentioned in the last episode, I'm going to put everything in a kind of a publicly available Google spreadsheet. I'll be tracking the distance that I covered in the game for the game and stuff like that. And I put the link down below in the description. And then I'm going to talk more about this and kind of the exercise elements and the fitness elements as I go forward. But for right now, I just wanted to share this in case people want to check it out. So the link is down below and you can check it out and see what's going. So far, so good. Five days averaging about nine miles a day. Is that right? Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, about seven miles a day. So yeah, feeling pretty good too. But we'll talk more about that later. The link's down below if you want to check it out. Um... I might be having a little bit of buyer's remorse right now. Uh, but anyway, let's keep this brief. We could, I could spend, a, I've been poking around here for a while. I could talk about this for a while. We'll save some of the juicier pits, bits of news for upcoming episodes. But let's just say things aren't all quite what they appeared to be. First up, uh, we actually signed the contract on July 25th. In the morning, we have a, a match July 25th. So we, we've been at the club for literally four hours. I've been able to bring in some trialists and do a few things, most of which is to say, oh my God, what did we get ourselves into? Uh, we have actually played a couple games, too. If we look at the league table before we got here, on the league table on the right-hand side, we've played two matches. We've won one and lost month. We lost to one of the B teams, 5 to nothing, and then somehow beat another team 2-0. So, not all bad news. We're 1-1. One one. That's mid-table, so that's where we are. I've looked at our staff. Actually, before I looked at the staff, though, the biggest thing, perhaps, with a journeyman like this is getting your badges really fast, right? Because you start out with none and you need some because otherwise people will say, hey, dude, you're a football manager and you don't have any licenses or anything like that so you're hoping that the finances of the club is pretty good and you can go right in ask for a, a badge and um, and start studying for it unfortunately we have a negative balance that makes me think we really might have want to gone for one of those teams that had a transfer budget because i bet they had a positive balance so yeah i might have screwed up big time already hopefully we can turn that around and then go in and ask for a badge and get one i didn't ask yet because i know what they're going to say they're going to say no so then um the other news i looked at our staff I think this might be the worst staff I've ever, it's it's like hilariously bad. I think these are the staff members that the game may, maybe generates. But like if we look at our director of football, director, head of youth development, right? Now, 
personality is important, right? Unambitious. <laughs> judging player ability, two. Judging player potential, three. He's good working with children, but nothing to do with football. So, yeah, okay, that's great. And then it's just pretty much the whole way around. Here's our load man loan manager who analyzing data is a one. Man managing is a one. Uh, it goes on. Our physio is a three. My grandmother was a three, and she knew how to put band. Like, what, what does he know how to do? Like, put a bandage on or something like that. That's it. Yeah, you're good. Go out there and play. So our whole staff is like that. And I may have um, actually signed the thing before I signed the contract that I wasn't going to replace any of them. I looked. We have a couple of open spots, too. And there's nobody out there that's anywhere good either. So it just doesn't look like there's a ton of football coaching talent in the Czech Republic, which might explain why we got this job. But anyway, then if we look at the squ squad, it's a little bit mysterious here. We have a bunch of players up here. And then if you'll notice on the bottom here, we actually have players that the game thinks is our better players. Now, these ones in green are some trialists that I brought in this morning that are here already. And these players actually look pretty decent. Most of these players up here are just kind of grayed out players. They're all pretty, like, just generically awful. And for whatever reason, these players are ineligible. They're unregistered. And we can't register them until August 3rd, which means we play two matches with this sorry lot before these players can come in and do stuff and before you say well like whoa those players look good look at all those stars i think it's because they're comparing them stars are relative to the talent on your team i think it's because it's comparing them to the gray players here because even this guy eric sedlacek who is a five-star five-star potentially 23 year old central midfielder who has some pretty decent numbers admittedly but even if we hover over this star here it says decent player for most at mess fl sides and so our best five star is decent. So I think pretty much that means is, dude, you're really bad. Your best player, this guy's awesome and he's only decent. But we'll see how this all goes down. Um, so yeah, lots of things <laughs> to work on, I think, which is the fun of a journeyman. I'm super excited to get started. But let's jump in. We play a match today against somebody and let's uh, select our team. To give you an idea how good our staff is, they suggested we play, our, our assistant manager suggested we play a 4-3-3, even though we don't have a right back or a left back or an attacking right winger. And he suggested we use a target man who was five foot four inches tall. So, yeah, our staff, I don't think we're going to be able to rely on our staff for much advice. So I kind of tossed this thing together, and I thought it was very appropriate <laughs> that our attacking midfielder is this guy called Blaze Panic. I'm sure you don't say it, Blaze. It's probably Blaze Panic. But that's it, even better, isn't it? Blahs, panic. He's got one star column ability, but at least he's not grayed out. Five star, supposedly, maybe, potential ability. But I just love the name, and he's right in the center. So it's kind of feel like there's this typhoon going on. So with that, I have no idea what I'm doing. Our assistants don't know what to do. We're just going to thing. The set pieces are all busted and stuff. We're going to work on that. Um, we're just going to submit the team here, and uh, we're going to jump in and get started and play our first match here. I did notice the team we're playing, I think, yeah, yeah, they're, everybody's not fully fit, so just deal with it. There's a lot of red there, but I, that's a lot of words I'm not going to read out. we got to click through this thing here. Uh, here we go. We are ready to start. There are fans in the audience. We are playing Ursic, or Hirsch. They are in the red, I think, going left to right. We're Ursic going in the white. We're going the other way, right to left, I think. Let's get this started. I'm going to check to make sure we're on the right highlights here. Extended. Let's go key to keep this moving along here. And eventually, I'll change the camera angles, too. Panic with the ball. All right. Strasky. I have no idea who these people are. I Kirch with no vowels in his name. That's so Eastern European, isn't it? Whoa, lots of stuff going on here. And I did notice that the team we're playing has lost both matches. And they have all kinds of gray players, too. We do have one guy up top that actually looks like he could kick the ball in the net. Time for us to shout here. I think shouts are going to make the difference for us. Demand more to the entire team. I have no idea what's going on. 24 minutes in. We're actually dead even. Let's, uh, let's go a little positive here. Right? Um, instructions. Where is this here? Cancel that. Oh, balance. Sorry, there it is. Uh, haven't played for a few days. Let's go positive. Actually, longer than that. I haven't played since the last Juventus match. All right. Let's go a little bit positive. This We're not losing. Uh, nothing's happening. <laughs> Let's go, boys. They're up on us on... Yeah, so... <laughs> so exciting. that There was no highlights there. 
Okay. Uh, assistant rooms. We've been the better team here. What are you? Oh, my God. It's like the three stooges for the assistant coaches here. Um, uh, no, we haven't been the better team. I, I don't want to say anything. Let's do keep it up. Okay. Oh, they're inspired. <laughs> uh, you weren't that bad, but I believe in you. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Good cop, bad cop, and I have to be both. Attackers, pump fists. There you go. Now, let's dig in here and maybe make some changes. I might take a second here. I will clear this stuff out. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Tactics. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, God. Midfielder on the right is a 6.2, 6.4. Our goalkeeper is doing awesome, and he's calm. We should get the apprehensive people out. Is this guy a gray guy? I can't. Divlianovic. He is. I, I, oh, actually, he's pretty good physically. Oh, he's playing on the middle because we don't have a central guy. I'm going to think for a second, then I'll let you know what we sorted out here. So, yeah, let's get the second half started. I'm not going to make any subs. We can only make three. We have two people that are exhausted. I think we're going to go to like 70 minutes and then throw in bodies. The only thing I did was I said, let's play for long balls. Let's pass into space, hit some early crosses, and shoot from distance. Uh, pass into play into space there. So we'll see what happens. Oh, is this a highlight? Yes. Yes. Look, at we connected some passes. Long shot. Oh, so close. It's still in play. Let's go. Keep go oh, No one chased the ball. That was pretty good. So I think we, yeah, the shoot on sight thing seems to be working here. Although it didn't add much to our XG there. Let's go to 70 minutes and we're going to bring in all fresh legs. See if that'll matter here. They are out shooting us. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is going to be bad. God. Okay. So let's make our changes now. And yeah, that's, this is just... Keeper. That's a great keeper. It looked like he just olayed it there. Let's skip that and let's pause here. I'm going to make some changes and I'll come right back. Okay, so we made a couple of subs. We pulled out some tired guys. I threw in a left back at attacking midfielder and then we're pushing up in attack here to see if we can get something going in these last 20 minutes. Come on, boys. Let's get one. Let's start off with a boom here. 18 minutes, 10 minutes. Let's use our last sub now. God, it's quite dismal. We're shifting to attacking. So I brought in this guy, Kirch, at attacking midfield. He's a defender, but we don't have any subs. We don't even have enough players to fill out seven subs on the team here. We need to do something else. Let's push these guys up. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like fun. And let's make our last sub here. We have These guys are, everybody's dead. Everybody's in horrible shape. What have they been doing in the preseason here? Krizic on the, we have a midfielder on the right, at least position-wise. This guy's just out of gas, too. Uh, I think he's actually a right midfielder. No, he's a left midfielder. Okay, so let's do that. Let's. He's nervous, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that. We need to ye yell at these people, too. And then let's bring in this guy here and see how all that works. Uh, like, this is going to work really well, I'm sure. <clears throat> is he a right-footed or left-footed? What is he? Very strong right foot, so that makes sense to be a winger. And how's his very strong left foot? That's good, so he can be a winger. I think we're here. <clears throat> we're set. Let's give a team talk. Let's have faith in you make a difference. Let's confirm the subs, and off we go. Then let's pause, make our last shout. Fire up. Here we go. My one-star attributes here. Come on, boys. Let's get something. Oh, a chance here. Uh-oh, a chance for them, maybe. We are in attacking mode. Repka to Repka. We have two Repkas. Steal it. Steal it. Oh, Radechi. Uh-oh. Urhursk is breaking down. Oh, my God. Keeper. Oh, is he offside? Disallowed. Nice. There's still hope. Skip, can we make one more? Three minutes. We got one more shout. Uh, nope. We can't even shout. That's it. Well, <laughs> a rather inauspicious start for us here. Let's go to the dressing room. I'm far from pleased with that result. Navrati is demotivated. Divjanovic has been nervous the whole time. He's just a ball of nerves as well. If we continue on, I can't imagine these ratings, especially with the ratings bug, are going to be all that helpful here. 
what is this? We're a senior affiliate. Oh, we rejected our approval for a senior affiliate because we do not really want to rely on loan players. We don't have any players. Okay, anyway, that, that, uh, that brings us to the end of that match and the end of our first episode, a rather inglorious start with a one to nothing defeat that sees us slide down in the table here. But there is lots of work to do and we have a lot of players here coming in pretty soon. Once we get these ineligible players, unregistered players registered, we should have some players that aren't just kind of grayed out players. So hopefully that will help a little bit. We will be back. Let's see what our schedule's got. I'm thinking we'll come back here towards the end of August. There's this team called Unikov, which I can't help calling Unicorn. So maybe we'll come back for them. We should have our players in. We'll have a little bit more of a history, have more things to talk about. So we'll see you then. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We are underway. A little bit nervous about this. Let me know what you think. And uh, take care, everybody. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next episode.